debate debate. So I want to talk to you about the Doctor Who finale we had at the weekend, and boy, oh boy, I mean, that was a tour de force. We, he was, oh man, he was like Clint Eastwood in Unforgiven. It started off as an old western, really fucking revenge western type type shit, and then really escalated into. Again, one of the most emotional moments of the, of the season, and it's uh, it's kind of a weird finale. I'll get to that. You know, it got me excited, but hmm, can't quite put my finger on it. So, um, it starts off brilliantly. The Doctor wakes up in Utah, goes to a cafe, goes to a diner, an American diner, don't you know? And uh, the waitress in the diner is Clara, resurrected, brought back to life. Hurrah! He starts playing Clara's theme. Clara's theme from the show, he starts playing on his guitar. They have a bit of back and forth, and it turns out Clara doesn't reckon. Clara seems to have no, you know, no memory of her previous life. So I'm like, okay, that's, that's interesting. Then we get into it. See the doctor back on Gallifrey, taking no shit. Uh, you know, he's invited to the capital city multiple times. They send, a delegate, they send an airship down to get him. He refuses. He's going to finish his goddamn soup. He goes back to the barn from the day of the doctor. References! Um, and he, you know, and they, they, send, uh, they send an armed guard down to get him. Nope. They send the high council down to get him. Nope. The president, who's Raslon, he's like a hardcore Doctor Who villain. Last time we saw him, he looked like Timothy Dalton. Now he looks like Mr. Lewin. Met him once, nice guy. Um, who the hell does he think he is? He's the man who won the time war, sir. Best fucking believe. So yeah, uh, so and then he comes down and the doctor promptly banishes him. He's like, I'm not treating with you, you're a piece of shit. You started the time war, get off my planet. I'm I'm putting some colour on that. All he keeps saying is get off my planet. And then the doctor's in charge of Gallifrey. What's the first thing he's gonna do? Goes down to the Matrix. Again, this is classic who. This is classic Doctor Who. Um, and I'm not gonna get too much into it, basically. When, it, when the Time Lord dies, their consciousness, their life force gets put into a matrix, and then that sort of that becomes the library of that race. Um, the Doctor goes down there. Well, no, before the Doctor goes down there, he goes to an extraction point. Before, what's the first thing he's going to do? Because they're all like, tell us about the hybrid, the hybrid, the big the hybrid. What's the hybrid? Doctor steals ta Clara. She's, he steals Clara at the moment of her death. Between heartbeats, he steals her. And then shoots a guy, shoots the general, he says, bang, shoots her, shoots him, and an old white man regenerates into a younger black woman, so anything can happen with regenerations, okay, just fucking, just go with it, so whatever, so that, that, so at some point the doctor will be a different race, at some point the doctor will be a different gender, just, just accept it, okay, it's, it's possible, the groundwork's laid down, let's just see where that goes, hurrah. Next, uh, so he, he, re he rescues Clara. There's this whole thing. Like, what are you gonna? Like, when are you gonna tell him about the hybrid? He doesn't. He steals the TARDIS with Clara. He's like, listen, we just get you further away from Gallifrey. Your heart will start beating again. You'll be properly alive, and we'll just be, keep having adventures because all of that was about him missing his friend, and it breaks Clara's heart whenever she hears about what, everything that he went through. And he, she's like, why? And he's like, I have a duty of care, and. That's it. That's his crux. That's that's the essence of him. He, like he he sees himself as a doctor. That that's it. Like he, he didn't choose that name, you know, innocently. He knows what it means. He knows what it's like. He has a duty of care, and it's kind of that. But it's also kind of he can't live without his friend. And it's so weird to see him breaking all of the rules that he's imposed on himself about fixed points in time and everything having an end and everything having its place. But when it comes to Clara, he will break all the rules. We saw that like, two episodes ago where he threatened to go to war with people. We've seen that at the start whenever he was like the first, the, the person that tells me Clara Oswald is dead, I better run. It, like, oh, it's just the love for him, the love, the love that he has for his companion is so, wow, it's, it's monumental, it's massive. So, you know, her heart still isn't beating, she still doesn't breathe, but uh, the, the doctor takes the TARDIS all the way to the end of time. To the end of time itself, the end of creation. And then he gets... Four knocks on the door. References! And he's like, it's always four knocks. 
he steps outside and it's a shield at me. She's like, oh, at, the, at the end of all things, you should expect the company of the mortals. And she's like, well, the other mortals are dead. So it's just her. She's sitting there with a chest set, just watching things die. And she lectures the doctor on like not accepting endings. Now, this is a thing with me. I like when things end. And I, I, I like a great ending. I, I'm not morbid, but I love a great death. Okay, a great death scene when someone dies like a champ, like when someone does a Boromir, okay, it's excellent. That, that's, that's great. Don't undermine it and bring the character back. She talks about how he's doing that by bringing Clara back. He was like, it was your fault she died. He was like, no, it was her fault. She did it. She made the decision. She died because of who she was. And it was beautiful and it was sad. And I'll never forget it. And now you're robbing her of that. Okay. But he still can't end it because it's we, it's it's been said before the doctor doesn't like endings and that thing comes up again. She talks about how the hybrid is not one person; it's two people. It's who it's two people that it's two warriors that are going to lend uh, bring Gallifrey to ruins. She sort of flirts with the doctor's genealogy a bit, in that why is it that you spend so much time on Earth exactly, Doctor? And he doesn't reply, he doesn't, he doesn't dignify that with a response. But, um, yeah, the hybrid is actually the Doctor and Clara, two people that will bring Alfred to its knees, and they kind of have. They are, they're risking it all. The Doctor can't live without Clara. Clara needs to go back to, to being dead, and she understands this, so he was going to wipe her memory, just like he did with Donna a few years ago, which was heartbreaking. It was one of the worst things you could do to a companion, man. So he doesn't do that, and uh, well, they, they sort of do it together because Clara reversed it using the shades, and it ends up backfiring on the doctor and it reverses him, his memory. And it's really sad because it's, it's all but a death scene. It's him forgetting all about Clara. And then it cuts to the diner again. The doctor has no idea who Clara is. I mean, he knows they had adventures, but he can't picture her. He doesn't know, his, he doesn't know her face. He doesn't, it, it, it doesn't. It means nothing to him, you know, it, 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 he just knows it happens, but he's looking for her and she's like, well, I hope you find it, I hope you find her. And he's like, I've been here before, oh, this is with Amy and Rory. And it's the exact same diner from that time the Doctor went to America. <clears throat> so that was, that again, references, all very cool. They have a really touching farewell, all the more poignant because one character doesn't really know until afterwards who it is. And then... It's weird, the whole diner turns out to be a TARDIS. It's the TARDIS that the doctor, the doctor stole when he, when he fled Gallifrey. Not his TARDIS, another one. And now it's Clara's TARDIS. And Clara and Ashilda, Maisie Williams' character, they're gonna go off and have adventures together. Cause she's like, I know, I gotta go back to Gallifrey, I gotta you know, go back and go back to that point in time. But let's take the long way. So Clara is now her own doctor. Ashilda is now the, uh, is, is, for everyone who was like, oh, is she going to be the new Doctor's companion? Uh, sort of. She is going to be a new Doctor's companion, just not the, whatever, you, you'll see. So they go off and have their own adventures. Again, the chameleon mechanism is stuck, so they're stuck looking at, the, it's just an American diner floating through space. Yeah, so there's that. Um, again, I loved Clara's death. I thought it was cool. I, I, I don't, I think this kind of undermines it a bit. I, I'm excited that they can have, go off and have their own new adventures because I don't think, like we can't keep having the Doctor's companions have their own tragic exits. It's, because otherwise, why would people keep hanging out with this guy? You know, I saw a brilliant meme of, of the Doctor having a brick that's an imaginary friend and then like two years later, the brick has to float off into the sun and he's like, that's just like, you know, he can't, why? So that's a bit more upbeat of an ending, but I'm just conflicted about it. The Doctor himself finds his TARDIS again. At that point, I'm pretty sure he realized who Clara was, and it's business as usual. He goes back in, dons the suit. I don't want to see any fucking hoodies on Doctor Who anymore. Not from him, not, not from this guy. He's got too much class. That was just bang. The shades are gone, I think. I don't... I didn't mind the shades. The shades were fine, but we get a new science screwdriver. I'm a little bit excited about that. It just pops out of the TARDIS, catches it, looks at the chalkboard, run you clever boy and be a doctor. Be the fucking doctor. Because he wasn't the doctor for a while. He was, oh man. I love it when he's being an absolute savage, but he has a duty of care, as you know. So, I'm gonna, I wonder where, what, where his head's at 
when, when he enters the Christmas special? Is he mourning Clara? Is he still confused? Is he just kind of living the single life, I guess? I know he's going to meet up with River. I don't know if River knows who he is. It's, it'll be interesting. But again, I'd love to see Capaldi, Capaldi and River song share screen together. That's going to be fun, man, because that dynamic. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, so those are my thoughts on the Doctor Who finale. Uh, I think I, this season confused me a lot, but it definitely picked up towards the end. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this vid, this vid? If you like this vid, please click like, subscribe, view, share, and all the usual jazz. And I'll see you when I see you, YouTube. Goodbye.